a congresswoman from Massachusetts, the target of a bomb threat. What we're learning from investigators as this disturbing trend spreads to the country. Plus, an arrest has been made in the death of the Gaudreau brothers. How police found the driver responsible. And new images released of the man suspected of shooting and killing the United Healthcare CEO. NBC 10 Boston Weekend Today starts right now. But first, we want to begin with breaking news. The Syrian government overnight has fallen after rebel fighters say they entered the nation's capital. The rebels are led by the Islamist group HTS, once tied to al-Qaeda and labeled a terrorist organization by the United States. Well, just last week, they seized Syria's second largest city in addition to a number of neighboring towns. Multiple news outlets report that President Bashar al-Assad has fled the country, though NBC has not independently confirmed this. But we are being told that President Joe Biden is monitoring the situation. And taking a live look over Boston now. Good morning. I'm Carla Rojo. And I'm Anaj Kungwari. Thank you for waking up with us. And that just looks like a cold day. You know in the air, <laughs> yeah. just stale. Oh, you know? <laughs> the cloudiness. It's a good time to be home having a hot chocolate, you know, being oh. relaxed. In about an hour. In about an hour. <laughs> well, actually, a couple hours. What am I talking about? Yeah, you know, beautiful uh, start to uh, ski season across northern New England. We have another low-pressure system move them, moving through New England, bringing plenty of snow there, several inches across some of your favorite ski areas. So if you're into skiing, yeah, I have the itch. Definitely looking like a great day to do some skiing. Across the two upper 40s, about 47, 48 ought to do it in Boston, a little bit milder along the south coast. Colder across northern New England in the mid-30s, and we'll hold on to some snow showers across the higher elevations. The winds will be gusting out of the southwest, over 25 miles per hour, 30 to 40 down towards the Cape. So be careful driving. Hold two hands on those steering wheels. We have rain moving in tomorrow night, perhaps an icy mix inland across Worcester County into southern New Hampshire, and then a little lull in the action on Tuesday, and more rain in wind on Wednesday with temperatures approaching 60. Comes with a cost, though. We have those gusty winds. First alert for that could be a bit messy on the roadways and then colder to end the work week. I mean, I, I'm seeing the 60. I mean, for me, it's a little <laughs> little positive. I'm a little tropical baby. Well, David, thank you so much. And I wanted to say thank you for having me guys today. Great to this morning. You. It was always fun yes, to have you. I had a good thank time. you for joining. And first of all, we don't even get to experience the 60 because it's going to be raining outside. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, well, anyways, Meet the Press is up next with an exclusive interview with President-elect Donald Trump. I'm so happy.